You know, I feel like the two of us aren't connected enough. You need to know some more shit about me. It's time that happened. Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. How is it going today, my friends? As always, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. Welcome to 7 Things That You Didn't Know About FaZe, Carl, or Carl. I figured you guys love watching me for Call of Duty and you guys just like watching my videos, but you don't really know that much about me. So if you are ever curious, these are the 7 things that, you know, I just really wanted to share with you. Number 1, I played soccer for 10 years of my life. I started playing at the lowest age that it was possible, like the lowest possible division. I think it was like U6 or something, 4 and five-year-olds could play in U6, I believe, and then you move up to U8, U12, and then U14, etc., etc. So I played soccer for 10 years, from age four until age 14, I was playing soccer every year, every season. And it is still my favorite sport. It is still one of my single favorite things to do, and I still do it to this day, even though I don't play in leagues, I still keep my touch with the soccer ball, and, you know, I still know how to use it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I still got it. I still got it, motherfucker. I would start juggling in here, but I think we all know that's not a good idea. Even though I want to. So yeah, as soon as summertime comes back to us here in the beautiful Colorado, I'll definitely be doing some more soccer. The second thing you didn't know about me, I have actually cracked my head open three different times and had to go to the hospital. There's only two times that I actually remember. The first time I jumped on my sister's back and in my house back in Florida, we have tile floors. I fell off her back, hit my fucking head, blood everywhere. Had to go get two staples in the back of my head, I believe, while I was awake. I actually made a video about that. I believe it's called They Stapled My Head. And then the second time I was running through my house with a cat, tried to jump on the couch, hit my head on the marble windowsill, and it wasn't rounded. It was not rounded. So I jumped up in the air, full force of my body, went down, hit the marble, and yeah. I started screaming. This this happened when I was younger. I haven't cracked my head open since I was like 12 or 13 years old, something like that. And the third fact, I did not see or touch snow until I was 17 years old. It never snowed in Florida. It only snowed once. I saw it falling from the sky. It never got to my hands, never touched the floor. So the first time I saw real snow and touched actual snow with my hands was here in Colorado when I was 17. The only times we went on vacation was when we went to Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. We never went somewhere cold. We always just went to like somewhere exotic like Florida. And I still haven't snowboarded. I've lived here for nine months and I haven't went up to the mountains and snowboarded yet. So hopefully I get around to doing that before the snow stops this year. And then the fourth thing that you probably didn't know about me, I did not kiss a girl until I was 17 years old. Alicia was my first kiss. We kissed in the Orlando International Airport on one of the benches. I still know exactly where it is and I still remember it like it was yesterday. One of the, one of the best moments of my life for sure. One of the most memorable moments in our relationship is when I paid for her ticket to come to Florida and stay with me for 10 days. That's when we first actually met in person. Well, we met in person in Anaheim, but met in person. <laughs> Yeah. The fifth thing you probably didn't know about me is what I had to go through for my smile. <laughs> Basically, before they could put the braces on my teeth, I had four of my canines removed. So the canines that I have right now, they're the backup canines. The original ones were removed, all four of them, and then three of my wisdom teeth. All in one surgery, they removed seven teeth. So not only did I have to go through the wisdom teeth surgery, but I had four fucking holes where my canines used to be because my mouth was so crowded. I would show you a picture of it, but you guys would probably hate me because my mouth was was disgusting before I got braces on for two years. So they removed all those teeth and then my teeth were able to straighten out with the braces and you know, Dr. Quick did a great job. After I got my braces off, he said there was too much gum in between my two front teeth. So I had a gum reduction surgery while I was awake. Look at my face, that was not fun. But my teeth are perfect and I could not be happier with how my smile has just affected my life. It's just like I feel good when I'm happy. I'm okay with smiling. When I used to have shitty teeth before I had braces on, even if I was happy, I wouldn't want to laugh because I knew people would see my teeth. I had a horrible overbite and there was so much crowding and having these perfect teeth has definitely given me the confidence to continue making YouTube videos and such. It really did help me with this. Dr. Quicken, you're a lifesaver. Sixth thing you probably didn't know about me, I played on a football team for two years when I was in middle school. I can also play tennis, basketball, golf, lacrosse. I know how to skimboard, surf, and bodyboard. So although I was 
was playing video games all the time, I still went out with my friends and played these sports. Like, I could still go onto a basketball court, not be a fucking Steph Curry, but, you know, I know how to play basketball. I have golf clubs. I know how to play the cross. I still have my skimboard in Florida. I could still play tennis, you know, not like my fucking friend who's going to become a pro, but, you know, I play it for fun. I know how to play all of these sports, and I love them. Sports are some of the funnest things that you could possibly do, especially because you can do it with your friends, and that's the only time I would go and do those things back in Florida. Like, yeah, you can skimboard and go to the beach alone, but if you get bit by a shark, who the fuck's gonna save you? You, you gotta go to the beach with someone. And then the seventh thing you probably did not know about me, I met FaZe Banks, Temper, Rain, Apex, Adapt, Blaziken, Dirty, Rug, Fakey, Seabass, I also met Pomage, Swan, Gwit, do you guys remember FaZe Gwit? I met him. Also met Tico, The Agony Brothers, Blue, Hugs, Sprat, and if I left anybody who I met back in Anaheim out, I am sorry. But I met all of those people, stayed in a house with them for a week in California back in 2014 at Anaheim. We went there for an MOG gaming convention, ended up staying for like an extra couple of days. We like rented a house, all stayed together in that house, and it was amazing. Meeting them was just amazing. I think I only had like 40,000 subscribers when I was at that house, and as soon as I got home, I just started grinding and going for trick shots in free for all, and that's just when my channel really started to grow because I met those people, and I was just like, wow, they're all so awesome. I want to be like these guys. I want to be uploading YouTube videos and having people watch me every single day. Meeting all of them definitely gave me the motivation to just try even harder with YouTube. And I'm going to be 100% honest, if I did not go to MLG Anaheim, I wouldn't have met Alicia, and I wouldn't have met all of them, and I don't know. I just feel like my YouTube channel wouldn't have turned out the same if I didn't go to that event back in 2014. So yeah, guys, that's seven things that you did not know about me. Hopefully you feel a little bit closer to me now, and if you would like to leave a thumbs up on the video, you guys know I'd appreciate that very much. And as always, my friends, I do hope you all have yourselves a fantastic day, a farewell and a goodbye. Here comes the... Woo!